Hey guys, Austin here with the pre-game report between the Edmonton Oilers and the Florida Panthers on CBC tonight, Hockey Night in Canada, 10 p.m. Eastern. Let's jump right into it. Now, the Florida Panthers, they are 17-10-2, but they have lost two games in a row, and they've actually been shut out two games in a row, so I do not expect them to be shut out for a third game in a row. That team is way too talented for that to happen. They are 5-4-1 in their last 10 games. They have an expected goals for of 53.65%, which ranks 5th best in the NHL. Their power play is 17.6%, which ranks 20th. Their penalty kill is 81.1%, which ranks 11th. They score 2.93 goals per game, which ranks 23rd. But they only give up 2.62 goals per game, which ranks 7th best in the whole league. They have a team save percentage of 90.21%, which is good for 14th in the NHL. Now, over on the Oilers' side, Edmonton is 13 13 and 1. They are 8 and 2 in their last 10. They had their eight game win streak snapped against the Tampa Bay Lightning, so they're looking to start a new streak tonight. Their expected goals for is 58.40%, which ranks first place in the NHL. Their power play is ranked 29%, which ranks fourth best. Their penalty kill is 79.8%, which ranks 17th. They score 3.52 uh, goals per game, which ranks fifth. They give up 3.41 goals per game, which ranks 25th, and their team save percentage has dipped to 88.69%, which ranks 26th. So, when we look at the head-to-head -head matchup, the Oilers have the edge in expected goals, their power play, and their goals scored per game. Florida has the edge in the penalty kill, their goals against per game, and their team save percentage. This is going to be a close game, I would think. I don't think it's going to be as high scoring as the first time these two teams met. So, my player to watch tonight for Edmonton is Calvin Picard. He is getting the start over Stuart Skinner, which is a bit of a surprise to me. I thought they might go back to Skinner for a bit of a redemption game, um, but Chris Knobloch decided to go with Calvin Picard. So he's going to be the player to watch on Edmonton. Let's see if he can string together a second straight quality start for the Oilers. And my score prediction for tonight is 4-3 Panthers in overtime. Uh, I'm not giving the edge to Edmonton this one. Uh, Florida's lost two in a row where they have not scored a single goal. They're going to be coming out flying. They're going to be pissed off. And the Florida Panthers, they are a good team. I even think they're better than their record shows. Guys like Matthew Kachuk have not really found their game yet this season. And when they do, and if they do, especially if it somehow happens against Edmonton, it's going to be a very tough matchup for the Oilers. Edmonton has to make sure that they are prepared. Now, looking at some of the player stats. Connor McDavid, 25 games played. He's up to 40 points on the season. Leon Dreisaitl, 27 games played. He has 33 points. And Evan Bouchard, 8 goals, 32 points. Zach Hyman, 17 goals. And Ryan Nugent Hopkins rounds out the top five. 7 goals, 28 points. Evander Kane only has one goal in his last six games, but he still has 12 and 27. I would expect Evander Kane to have a bit of an edge tonight, especially with Matthew Kachuk on the ice on the other side. Now, when we look at the goaltending, we're going to have Calvin Picard in net. He is 1-1 one and one with a 2.24 goals against average and a 9.17 save percentage. If he can give us anything close to a 9.17 save percentage tonight, Edmonton's chances of winning are very, very high. Looking over on the Florida Panthers side, Sam Reinhart leads their team in scoring. 17 goals, 37 points. He's a plus 16. Alexander Barkov, terrific center. I think he's super underrated. Does not get the credit he deserves. 10 goals, 28 points in 26 games. Carter Verhage, 13 goals, 23 points. Evan Rodrigue, 6 goals, 21 points. And then Matthew Kachuk ranks 5th on the team in scoring. He only has 5 goals in 29 games this year, and he only has 20 points. I would expect Matthew Kachuk... Now that he's playing again in Edmonton, there's a lot of history with him and Rogers place. So uh, I'm sure the fans are going to be giving it to him every time he touches the puck. And I'm sure he's going to try and reciprocate reciprocate by putting the puck in the net for himself or dishing to teammates and making the crowd even more angry. When we look at the goaltending, Bobrovsky and Stallers. Bobrovsky is 13-8 and 1 with a 256 goals against and a 906 save percentage. Anthony Stallers is 4-2-1 with a 219 goals against and a 915 save percentage. I haven't taken a look at the pregame reports from the teams yet. I would imagine Sergei Bobrovsky is getting the start, but if it's Anthony Stallers, that's not surprising. Either way, it's a tough matchup. Edmonton's got to be ready to try and get some pucks past these goaltenders because they do play very strong hockey. But what do you guys think? What are your game day predictions? As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I want to know what you're thinking heading into the game. And if you like the video, make sure you hit like. If you really liked it, make sure you hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.